Greetings, Cosmos, and welcome to Mabel and the Wood by Graffiti Games. Let me just move this to... Yeah, I've never played this before, but apparently it's a Metroidvania. Let me make sure it's actually recording. What the? Okay, so first things first is I'm going to do options and change the screen size. There we are. Much better. Yeah. There we are. And back to main menu. I shall begin my journey. Anyway, it's a Metroidvania where you take the form of bosses you kill, but you don't have to kill anyone. Awaken, arise, arise! First bird of dawn. Carry us through the night. Awaken, awaken. Oh, hey. Oh. Is that a little girl? That is not a little girl. That is the bringer of dawn. Looks like a little girl to me. Well, um, her chosen form matters not. She can change shape at will. Okay, so I'm not sure which button is X. Is it this one? Oh. She turns into a fairy? I thought all of the fairies were dead. I don't think she actually is a f Shut up! Is this what you were expecting, Alderoy? Shut up! The prophecy is clear. She has awoken. Oh, great one. We have been preparing for your arrival. Please, follow me! Great one, huh? Are we going to be developing eyes on the inside? I know this must all feel a little unusual. I mean, are you a human or a fairy? Just take a little time to get used to it. Oh, great one! This way! Okay, okay, so... How do I jump? I don't jump, I shape change. Oh, hi. I'm the official sign painter. I hope you find them useful. I spent a lot of time painting them. So. The sword drags on the ground. Press X to drop your sword and fly. Okay, sure. Press X again to summon your sword back to you. Oh, okay, so I can summon it to me from anywhere. Oh, hey, I'm supposed to collect those crystals? Press up while flying to fly even higher. Whoops. Okay. You can fly until your magic runs out. Runs out. It recharges when you land. Okay. So I just get a full recharge of my magic when I land. Gotcha. It's nice that there's no, like, wait timer on that or anything. Press X when the line turns red to pull your sword through enemies. Oh, interesting. So, I fight by yanking my sword through things. Hold up. Okay. I move kind of slow. You are the one the prophecy speaks of. The bringer of dawn is resurrected. You must hunt the great beasts. You must kill them and take their shape. The prophecy foretold all this. You will carry us through the night. You will save us all. So, 
How do I fight them without killing them? Act 1. So I don't like swing my sword or anything. Okay. Change one. Oh, okay. So you actually know what kind of controller I'm actually using. Wait, no, no you don't. Yes you do. Okay. So then hold position you map. No map available. Hey, you. Are you an enemy? I hope not. Okay. Wow. That was awesome. I wish I could fly. It said X, but you square for that. I can barely even walk with all this armor on. Neat. So, I'm gonna fly on over this way. What's in here? Okay, so I don't know how to get through this. Anyway, I know nothing about this game beyond the basic description that's a Metroidvania where you can shape change into bosses you've defeated. But also you don't have to kill anyone. Okay, so since I can't go in there, What's over here? Hey you, tell me things. Hello there! Are you heading east? I'm heading up these mountains to find the Great Bridge. At least I am if I can get past these cursed vines. I'm a kind of local historian, you see. I know everything about these parts. I've heard about you. You're the so-called bringer of dawn, right? To be honest, I didn't expect to meet you. I thought you were a myth. I've never met a myth before. I don't deal in myths and legends. I deal in history. You know, real stuff. Stuff that actually happened. <clears throat> it's all very exciting though, isn't it? I expect I'll see you again on my travels. Just watch out for the spiky bits on those vines. It's all very exciting though, isn't it? Okay, so... Ow. I drop money when I get injured? That is interesting. Alright, so, mountain pass that way, so, you're the savior these idiots are talking about? Well, get on with it then. X doesn't do anything here, but they got square right on the outside, but I use square to talk. Probably better dead than alive these days. Oh, somehow this stopped being the front window. All these idiots prattling on and on, well if you ask me, it's all a, these idiots making the world the way it is. It used to be lovely around these parts, there used to be people around these parts. Those idiots must uh, have scared most of them off. They got good folks whittling about the end of the world. If the world's ending, where are you going to run to? Well, far as I know, you've all run, they've all run to the Priory. Call it a Priory. It's more rubble than walls last I heard. There's no salvation there, let me tell you. Go on then, be off with you. Shouldn't be you be out there saving the world or something? I'll be fine right here, thank you. They said the king was here to save us. Them and their... Them lot and their stupid prophecies. They said the king would fight the beasts of beasts. But then they made the mistake of telling him, and now he's locked himself in a tower. Go on, move along. I haven't got all day to talk to you. Hurry up and save the world. Our poor, poor, dying world. And don't you go swinging that sword around my petunias. You might be our savior. But a savior can still get a slap on the leg. Are you still here? If you're sticking around, you can lend me a hand. How are you with a brush? It's a bit bigger than that sword of yours, but all of that it's a cursed sight lighter. So are you really a fairy? You don't look like one to me. You look like a little girl. A little girl with a big sword, but still, just a little girl. I remember the fairies. I don't remember them ever changing shape. It was a long time ago, but shape-shifting is something you don't forget. Where'd you get that sword from? It looks old, a lot older than you. Older than me, maybe. Don't you think you should put it back? Before you hurt yourself. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. I've been here my whole life, and when I'm gone, I'm gone. 
Don't look so maudlin. Death comes for us all. Some sooner than others. Well, at least it only comes once, I hope. How much dialogue do you have? Okay, so I think that's that last bit's on repeat then. Who are you and how did you get in here? Urgh, that incompetent fool. I'd have had his head by now if I had any heads to spare. Well, never mind. Just be careful with that sword. I'll be forced to confiscate it. Where are the Queen's Guard? We're evacuating this village to the Eastern Prior. You might want to think about coming with us. The animals are starting to turn nasty. There's some weird cultists creeping around. It's not safe for little girls, even if you think you can handle that sword. Where are the red cloaks? Hence the cloak being red. We're only outranked by the black cloaks, and I suppose the king. Technically. But he's out of commission right now. Anyway, I might not be a black cloak, but I am the one in charge around here. So the red cloaks are the ones who die in massive numbers, right? I'm not sure I buy into this end of the world thing, but I have my duty to perform, and these people will be safely evacuated. I'm in charge around here. My word is law. This is all going to go as planned. Let's see, options. Hmm. I was just checking to see where it saved at. I guess lanterns? Like, I had hoped that the quit to menu option would have given me, you know. Okay, so it does save that I spoke at you. I hope that the quit to menu option would, like, warn me or something rather than just going, yep, you sure are quitting to the menu. So, either come with us or go your own way. Either way, stop distracting me. I have a job to do. Leave me to it and be on your way. I'm in charge around here. My word is law. This is all going to go as planned. Okay. So, this requires a key of some kind to get into, I guess. Oh, hey. Haven't you been evacuated yet? Have you lost your parents? If they're not around here, then they'll already be at the Priory. We'll help you get there, too, so don't worry. Is that a real sword? Aren't you a bit young to be carrying a deadly weapon? Don't let the captain see you. The captain is a good man, but he has no sense of humor. Sometimes I wonder why the captain is so grumpy. He probably just thinks he should be a black cloak already, but he's just a red cloak. He probably should be a black cloak, to be honest, but he's not. The princess is the captain of the black cloaks. He really shouldn't be. He's awful... Wait... Princess? Prince? I'm not sure he's even qualified to be a soldier. Don't tell him when I said this. Everyone feels guilty about his dad, but making him a black cloak? That's going too far. At least they don't let him carry a sword. Okay, so it's the prince that I misread that as princess. The prince is the captain of the black cloaks. cloaks. Okay. How about you? Oh, hello there. I'm waiting for my brother. Then we're heading to the prior. We're just not sticking around here. I mean, good luck to you, but we've had a lot of saviors around here, and they're all dead. Or hiding. We're probably dead. My brother says they're all dead. He's the smart one. He's probably right. He's head off in the mountains to get supplies. There's an abandoned village there. That's where we're from. But we abandoned it. My brother's gone to get all our stuff, and we abandoned all of that too. We're leaving this place. We're getting evacuated to the Priory. Are you heading east? We're not really fighters, so it'd be good to have someone with a sword. Aside from all these soldiers. I don't really trust them. He's been a while, my brother. It's rough up there in the mountains. I hope he's okay. I hope he can remember the way there. I hope he can remember the way back. Okay, now I'm worried. Do you think he'll be okay? Keep an eye out for him, will you? Tell him to come home soon. Keep an eye out. Okay, so... Okay, no reason to go up on these houses at all, I guess. I'm not a babysitter. Evacuate yourself. This is the worst posting ever. I couldn't care less about these old people. I just want to stab something. What's the point of years of training, years of hard work, years of discipline, if I don't get to stab anything? I hope something happens soon. It's boring here. 
I'm tired of this place. It's not my duty to stand around being bored. It's my duty to stab things. What's the point of blah blah blah? Alright, and what's this sign say? It's just a pointer, I guess. I'm sorry, but I can't open the gate for you. It's too dangerous out there for little girls. Unless you think you can open it by yourself. Into the woods. The village of Velorandel. Okay. Alright, I got like 30 seconds left on my clock, so I think I'll call it here for the day. Join me next time when I travel further into the woods, I guess. I'll see you next time.